Our ship has just arrived at Ochakiv, Ukraine, for loading operations. We were chartered to transport around 60,000 tons of barley from here to Jeddah in Saudi Arabia. And since the cargo was being delivered to us by barge, with only two cranes working, it will take many days to fill up our cargo holds. Days like these provide us with a perfect opportunity to carry out maintenance, which we otherwise won't be able to do while the ship is running. Okay, so it's another day here at the Anchorage area. Let's see what it looks like outside my window. So for now, I need to do some reports, fuel consumption and such. And later on, I'll be going down to the engine room to check what's happening. Okay, so now I'm here at the engine room. Let's just see what the guys are up to today. Whenever the ship arrives in port, the crew usually becomes busier. The deck officers and crew are focused on cargo operations, while the engineers take the opportunity to carry out maintenance during this time when the main engine is not running. But since our ship just came out of dry dock, the engine team just went on with their regular tasks. It's just another day at work. So our ship will be staying here for cargo operations for, I don't know, about one week. It depends on the schedule. They're, they're not really very specific on the schedule here. But estimates say that we will be staying here for at least one week. And I think that's enough time for us to make things quite presentable here. Basically, cleaning up is our priority right now because we were only on a short voyage coming from dry dock all the way here to our loading port. It only took about one and a half days, so we didn't really have a lot of time to clean things up and make the engine room presentable. And we have to do this as quickly as possible in case uh, port state control and other inspectors come on board and we want to give a very good impression by presenting them or welcoming them to a very clean engine room. But of course some maintenance jobs will still need to be done but as of now there's only going to be very few of them because a lot of the maintenance stuff has been done during the dry dock or even before then. There are only six of us here in the engine room as me, chief engineer, we have the first engineer, the second engineer, we have the engine cadet, the oiler, and the wiper. So when jobs pop up all of a sudden, all at the same time, when emergencies happen, something gets damaged, we really are going to be stretched very thin. On other ships like tankers, there will be more people in the engine room, but for bulk carriers, especially for those that were designed with the UMS or unmanned machinery systems. This is the usual setup. Six people. It might look like a huge task for a few people, but having well-trained and highly disciplined team members makes things easier and safer in the workplace. It's a Friday evening and this marks the first week start of the weekend since we took over the vessel and left from dry dock. So today the captain decided that we should have a special dinner, you know, sort of like a welcoming or housewarming, in this case ship warming party, to welcome us on board and make everyone feel at home. Shipboard life is not all about work. As senior officers, we usually expect our team to put out their best performance on the job. But we should also know the value of our team having high morale. 
it is important for everyone on board to feel that their efforts are appreciated. And one of the simple ways to achieve that is to occasionally throw a party or even just a special dinner, just to break the routine. In addition, due to the nature of their jobs, seafarers get pulled away from home for months, oftentimes having to celebrate special occasions away from their loved ones. So simple things like these go a long way in promoting camaraderie and motivates people to be at their best in fulfilling their duties. After all, the ultimate goal for each and every one of us is to get through each and every day without any accidents or incidents. and eventually finish our contracts and get back safely to our home and our families. As the days passed by, our cargo holds were slowly being filled. The loading operation, although slow, went smoothly. The weather was also very cooperative for the most part, so operations were not disrupted. Compared to other ships, bulk carriers typically stay longer in port. Sometimes it will be like this, just at the anchorage area, but oftentimes alongside where it's possible for the crew to go out for a few hours on shore leave. Longer days in port also means that the pending maintenance jobs get done without so much time pressure thereby making it easier to establish a safe working environment as there is less stress when doing the big maintenance jobs. In any case, whether at sea or in port, we never run out of things to do on a ship. There's always something to check, repair, adjust, dismantle, assemble. For example, here we see the first engineer with the main engine fuel injectors. We recently pulled out a few of them for maintenance and replaced them with spares. He just finished overhauling one of them and now he's going to test the injection pressure if it's within operational limits. With excellent atomization, no leaking, 
and injection pressure reaching the target, this fuel injector is ready for use and will be kept as spare. On the generators, the second engineer and the cadet is also replacing the fuel injectors with the overhaul spares. Each and every part of these engines have a prescribed number of working hours, wherein they will need to be pulled out for overhauling. It is part of preventive maintenance, and if kept within their schedules, will keep our machinery running in optimal condition and prevent breakdowns. It is a continuous process, which is why there will always be some work to do on board a ship. But that's just how it is. Shipboard life is governed by a daily routine. Deck, bridge, engine, even the galley follows their own set of daily routine. We might have different job descriptions, but all of them contributes to achieve the ship's main purpose, which is to deliver the cargo safely to its destination. Finally, after 9 days of loading operations, our cargo holds are nearly full. Today is actually our last day of uh, cargo loading operations. The loading operations are almost done. But as per latest info, our departure from this port is scheduled for tomorrow morning. And as soon as we leave here, we will transfer to the off-port limits to carry out bunkering operations. Pretty soon our loading operations will be completed and it will be time once again for our ship to continue her voyage and cross the seas once more to reach our next port.